So if you would like, if you would like, you can run up on me with this energy for my next fight. A few moments later. Organized boxing is just something I'm not gonna do. I am a YouTuber and a musician. I'm not a boxer. I wish other people would take that into consideration too. But hey, it is what it is, Stevie, bro. I'm gonna make sure that we could get home safe. Organized boxing is something that I'm just not gonna do. It takes too much commitment. I respect the craft too much. The same reason I never produced, right? I just respect the craft too much, right? And I don't have the commitment to do that. But if you just want to squabble, if you just wanna run a fade because you don't like what I said, it is what it is. I'll never turn that down either. I'll never turn that down either. I don't like that from Knox Hill, man. Damn, man. I mean, for the sake of pettiness, I still allow it, but it's just like, that's crazy. Yeah. I don't know, man. It's coming across like I'm just trying to be one sided or something, but. Like, when you start chopping and editing shit in a certain way to manipulate, come on, that's the type of shit nobody respect. You know what I'm saying? Nobody likes shit like that. No, if you would have at least put that part at the end, then we can choose and say, okay, dog, uh, you might still be scared. But the way you cut that part out and make him look like he just terrified of Stevie Knight, first of all, why is y'all even talking about Stevie? Y'all two battling each other. So, uh, I don't know. Let me just keep listening. Let me show you how you really do this beat. <laughs> Fuck it, let's compete, ho. Weak, ho. You was hyping boss and best up here, bro. You going to prison and my television toss. No one knows who you are. I can't do this. Again, the lyrics. Whoosh. What? Very sort of like Eminem style esque. Sodomize and colonize the culture. We gon' speak though. Think I need a different foreign album. What did he go? We heard your little dish. It was soft, not scary. And we heard your little line about Ahmaud Arbery. But basically, the content revolved around Ahmaud Arbery. And it was used as a bar. Go delete the little juice like we ain't saw y'all. Scary, we gon' have to play around. I don't know who Ahmad Arbery is. Sorry, I need more context in the comments, but I, j I see what Screw is saying he did, and I understand the comments in the situation. So that's bad if Knox did say something like that and delete it. If you say it and you say something wrong and you get heat for it, either stand on it or apologize, you know? It was used as a bar. Go delete the little juice like we ain't saw y'all. Scary, we gon' have to play around. I swear to God, dog, where is Swear to God that you ain't say you ain't a product of this culture. You just kind of stumbled on it, now you profit from this culture. Swear to God that you react to rap, but that shit got me crying when there's no one black on your channel for fucking weeks at a time. Oh my God, I'm about, I'm about to call this shit. I'm about to, I'm about to call a TKO, man. I'm about to call a TKO, man, because this, this, I'm telling you, man. Ugh, this is getting, this is getting bad. I'm really speaking my mind. You react to rap, but that shit got me crying when there's no one black on your channel for fucking weeks at a time. I'm really speaking my mind. You thought that was either you lying. M should call you cocktail. You ride his meat all the time. I swear to God that you ain't right. That fucking bar about a mod. Fuck your donations. We don't want your blood money, dog. Trying to do gun bars, but that's a gun bar you toss. Says a lot that you ain't noticed when you wrote it. It was wrong. See, with all the critique, I think the biggest realization point for me is when I stepped back and I thought about being a mod's mom. And if I heard that line, they would not appreciate the fact that their son who was taken way too soon, who was taken away from them, is now being used as a punchline in a rap song. No slander, right about how you pander, you weak fraud, weak song. Let's I look at that both sides. First of all, anything is fair game when it comes to rap song. I thought you were just talking about he said it, or he tweeted, or he said some shit. That's different. What I like... I'm sorry, man. Shit be fair game in hip hop and rap song, man. We can't be like. I know we want to just tear Knox Hill down and say racism or, or or all this shit or whatever happened, whatever the case or whatever or insensitive. But if you can turn shit into a bar and make it creative and hot, I don't know. Maybe I'm insensitive, but at the same time, it may, it look it make it look bad. Like Knox Hill just now realizing, like my nigga. Like, oh man, I had to think about how his mother with it. 
nigga. <laughs> I'm not even about to keep that line thought go because it's too obvious. I do, yet I don't listen to it as much. It's a punchline in a rap song. No slander, right? It's about how you pander, you weak fraud, weak song. Must have phone that shit in. Steve Jobs, how you gonna talk about my mama and tax dollars while you robbing from a culture that you really not a part of? I'm sorry, y'all, this is and I swear she'll obey the law, but this ain't a rapper for his mama crime, so you culturally lost. You see, sometimes people in this culture have it hard. I could bring up color laws, but I don't need to go that far. Against the odds, sometimes you go against the law, cause shit gets dark. But when you cars play a culture, you won't understand that part. You don't understand our struggle. You don't understand our heart. You don't understand. And that's what I tried to explain. He not Hill don't understand. I, I, uh, I don't want to keep going around this line of talking because it's making me seem biased now, but it's just the fact that Screwface is winning. He's devouring Knox Hill. It's not even fucking close. And like the the angles that Knox Hill tried to use were weak. They just were weak. Like maybe white people who don't understand liked them and thought they were fire but like i say if you if you know you know and you understand why we gotta do certain shit like that and just the fact that screw came back around explained this in the song on the same beat it's just like kind of nullified some shit that didn't even need to be nullified first it was already understood second of all the whole song that Knox just dropped was garbage you shit making me mad because it's so one-sided so far. Do you won't understand that part? You don't understand our struggle. You don't understand our heart. You don't understand our pain, and you don't understand our art. How come everybody say the same shit that y'all quoting other rappers? This is what the fuck is going on? What the fuck you always sound so fucking awkward in your songs? This some shit you putting on. Let's go back to doing pawns. How the hell is you gonna call me sus on your song or a cut that was wrong when you probably wearing thongs? What the fuck I'm getting hit up by your mom fucking ex is called your ass a colonizer and they say some laughing faces. Fuck you. Talking about rappers. American roots, it's black roots. That's Jamaican and African too. If you track every nigga that diss me, shit is on. They literally hit the booth and make the same song. Same lie, same diss, the same narrative. They on guess when you copy your papers, you get the same questions wrong. Differences. When I made a skip by Melly Mel, I was joking. You diss bad and you were serious as hell. Matter of fact, when someone disses M, you react. Like, look at me, Marshall. I promise I got your back. Took another nigga's diss as a personal attack. You quit soccer, but you keep juggling balls. Red flag. Apologize to who you at a screw and think you got stuff. Just like a colonizer trying to lie to get us caught up for real that shit feels it when the lie to get us locked up you really proving everything i'm saying when you talk bruh now let me really help you i ain't fronting on you nigga but it sounds weird when you say you hunting for a nigga benzino didn't diss you but you dissing for your leader if i got fake features and beat you a fake beaver how you acting like i'm weaker when you know my shit is fever only one of us is pay the other one for a feature no, we don't really want to hear about mental health when you diss a non black man getting killed you know there was one artist who even said you know you're a white dude commenting on this and my people are out here getting killed and see i didn't even think like that Duh. that's the whole point what the fuck what the fuck man this knocks you shouldn't even got in this beef this why this is why a lot of people scared of beef because man a lot of shit be this shit is damaging man and i didn't even think like that <laughs> That's the whole point. Man, this NF angle that you kicking shit in L. Bitches blatant what you doing, and it's cringier than hell. Took his style, took his vibe like we really wouldn't tell. But this dodo even took his logo as well. Aw, it feels like you get more the fuck? Fatality. I'm about to call it. <laughs> I'm about to call it. I'm about to call it. I'm going to keep going because, like I said, I know it's like a whole nother round. I'm about to call it. I'm about to call it shit, man. Uh, and like as a referee, I'm not about to sit here and let nobody get bludgeoned to death. Like, come on, not on my watch, my nigga. This is a respectable sport. I'm telling you, but one more haymaker? Uh, please let me make it to the second round. Oh my god, this is bad. Oh shit. Tell, but this dodo even took his logo as well. Oh, it feels like you're getting bars from your man, but you gotta understand that they're not really your man's. I'm about to give him beats like it's hard in his hand. You such a corny rapper that is part of your brand. I don't talk about nothing, think you talking about yourself. Maybe I should monetize and weaponize mental health. Maybe I can make a song about depression that'll sell and not offer no solution, just more pity for myself. Hypocrite, you wanna know what hypocrite is? This is me for remixes. Why you remixing this? A reactor try to act like I ain't like white people. Most I know are nice people. 
people You just like white evil the fuck you rapping for? Nigga ass nigga got your sagging pants With your ass hanging out the back Hanging out in front of liquor store selling crack Damn, this is 100% true For like 80% of the black niggas they not taking care of their kids. They selling drugs. They got a crazy ass baby mama. They on child support. They can't keep a job. That's the same motherfucker that's gonna diss his own people to justify white saying nigga boy is lethal. You don't. Shaq. More on this later. Nerdy show your colors, that's why we don't fucking trust it. That boy lying if he say that he unbiased, he a bluffer, a pandering nerd hugger that damages his own brothers that made it by tap dancing for payment. We're not dumber. Back to Knox, if you play play, man down, AK, or off with KH with a motherfucking HK. Flash out, find him in the DMV and crash out. Boy, that voice you making when you rap makes us laugh loud. Ha. It's like they're not like us, they're not like us, they're not like us. Bum! They're not like us. Why am I sus? Look at you, bro. Is that bro. girl 18? What the fuck that even mean? Oh, Whoa. I see you just trying Whoa. to do that. Is that is that's real? That's Knox in a drip. Look at you, bro. Is that What the fuck that even mean? Oh, I see you just trying to do that Kendra Drake thing But you lying, telling fables Cause there's nowhere else to brace you Such a colonizer that you trying to appropriate an angle So for that, I'm getting angered I'll string you up from a cable I can shank you, but I thank you for letting me watch you strangle Your opinions ain't real And for real, you just fucking mangle And you sound like the police on your song, Officer Dangle Yeah <laughs> And don't worry, the real ones see what y'all trying to do. See these narratives y'all trying to spin. We got people who break down music, who don't even understand lyrics. I said, if, if you remove Eminem and you remove NF, who are you? And they really looked at the camera and said, I diss Eminem and NF. Nah, boy. I said, you ain't got nothing to stand on because you ain't your own man without them. This ain't 2019 no more. Y'all can't keep spinning these weird narratives because we in a little niche. Nah, real niggas in the chat now. <laughs> It ain't about black or white. It's just about wrong and right. Uh, I'm going ch I'm gonna I'm move on to the next round. I think that the first song was maybe a bass song, and these two are going against each other. Like Knox Hills, not like us, and then Screws, not like us. Either way, both of Screws songs demolish Knox songs. Like I'm gonna just move on to the next round, and it's a lot to talk about. Story for another day.